Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see create an Azure service principle for Ansible. In this video we will create an Azure service principle with Azure CLI or you can use Azure PowerShell and authenticate to Azure from Ansible. To start with, let me log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. I will launch the Cloud Shell. All right. Let me pull that up. Okay, perfect. I will use AZ, AZ ADSP create for our back name Ansible. and hit enter I will copy it open up the notepad and paste it I will change the font okay I will save it Okay, and now I will assign a role to the Azure service principle. Do I'll do AZ role assignment create assignee and I will have the app ID here. Which is this here and I'll do role as contributor perfect and now I will get the Azure service principle information I'll do AZ account show query. I'll do this. I'll first of all add the tenant ID. Here. Then I will do Sorry. I'll do tenant ID colon and the tenant ID. Then I'll do subscription. ID colon. I'll add the subscription ID I'll get it from the duplicate tab I'm going to add your active directory and this is my tenant ID I'll go to subscriptions and this is my I am the I'll change it I'll do this I close the braces do this or and then I'll do is a d s p list 
display name ansible query client id app id not giving me anything now i'll try to authenticate to azure with this service principle let me gather the command i ran the command to authorize with the values and added them now if i test the service principle permission i'll do ansible local host my dash m azure rm resource group so i'm running the the command to create a resource group right so i'll do this and dash a name equal to i'll do assert test ansible rsg location east us i'll do this okay see change equal to true contains resources false this is the provisioning state is succeeded and now if i want to delete the resource group i'll do ansible local host dash m azure rm resource group dash a it's the same command name i'll just after name i'll do state equal to absent force delete no empty equal to yes force delete no empty equal to yes unsupported parameters for azure resource group hmm okay so if i'll remove it and enter let's see how it goes change equal to true contains resources false and it the status is deleted all right i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment sections and in the next video we will configure or deploy a windows azure uh, windows virtual machine in azure with ansible stay tuned i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day